As the Indiana football team prepares for the 2007 spring football practices, they'll need to do so without their head coach, Terry Hepner. In a press release issued late Sunday night, Indiana University Athletic Director Rick Greenspan announced that once again, Hepner would need to leave the team to attend to personal health matters. Greenspan said, quote, Coach Hepner has indicated a need to take some time to regain his strength and energy and to receive proper medical care. We have encouraged Terry to make his family and health a top priority. Now the trouble for Hepner began in December of 2005 when he needed surgery on the right side of his brain to remove a tumor. He responded very well to the treatment, was back with the team in fact for the 2006 spring football practices and guided the team through the first few weeks of the season. It was, however, after the second game of the year, a come-from-behind victory at Ball State, that Hepner once again announced that he would need to leave the team as a second operation was necessary. He again recovered in remarkable fashion, was back on the sidelines, in fact, just three weeks later. For the Big Ten home opener against Wisconsin, Hepner guided the Hoosiers to a 5-7 and seven mark overall last year. Now, over the past few weeks, speculation has mounted about the health of the third-year Hoosiers head coach after he made his first public appearance in months on National Signing Day. Hepner's tired appearance as he labored into the media room was a stark contrast from the fiery man who took this head coaching job just three years ago. And in his short time here at Indiana University, he's already made a legacy for himself, capturing the hearts of Hoosier fans all across the country. For the first time in years, people wanted to come out to Memorial Stadium, and he treated them by putting a good team on the field with key victories over Michigan State and an upset over number 13 Iowa. He was also instrumental in a $55 million plan to clean up the facilities here at Indiana University, starting right here at Memorial Stadium, as there are going to make a horseshoe in the north end zone behind me. Now his family did release a statement to fans across the country applauding them for the support during this very difficult time and saying that they will release more news as it comes up about Indiana head coach Terry Hepner. Now the players are set to take to the practice field on Tuesday afternoon and in the meantime assistant head coach Bill Lynch will take over the day-to-day -day duties as interim head coach. As more news breaks on this story, we'll be sure to keep you updated on thepalestra.com. Reporting from Memorial Stadium, I'm Ronan O'Shea, your Palestra reporter at Indiana University.